Hello. Today marks the 18th anniversary of the police service in Northern Ireland. As you get to know the organisation, the thing that really stands out is the irrepressible enthusiasm and commitment of the men and women of the police service to make things better and safer for our communities. The police service is a great place to work and whether you're a police officer or a member of staff, you have an opportunity to make a difference. That opportunity is open to every part of our diverse communities. Indeed, I want our service to be representative of the community we serve. That means we need people from all walks of life to consider a career in policing. In particular, we need to encourage more people from a Catholic background, more women, more people from working class communities, both nationalist and unionist, more people from minority ethnic communities and more people from the LGBT community. I'm particularly concerned about recruitment from the Catholic community. Not because any one community makes a better police officer, but because unlike our other underrepresented groups, recruitment from the Catholic community is stalling. So if we don't do something about it, it risks slipping backwards. A police service anywhere in the world will always be more effective if it is reflective of the makeup of the community it serves. And during my time as a senior officer in London, I was involved in conversations with the government about the use of positive discrimination. The same issue has been raised for me on many occasions since I've come to the police service of Northern Ireland. So ultimately, any decision on 50-50 is a political decision. But I believe it's a tool that's provided results in the past and should not be dismissed for the future. It would, however, be wrong to believe that 50-50 in and of itself would solve the issue. It may be an effective short-term fix, but we need to find a long-term solution too. Supporting brave men and women from right across the community to take up roles in policing will not be something that the police service achieves alone. There are some real challenges for people considering a career in policing. The security threat is very real and enduring, and the unresolved approach to dealing with the past impacts on people's confidence and trust in policing today. I currently work with around 9,500 officers and staff who have chosen to see beyond those challenges to the opportunities that policing presents, and they're contributing every day to supporting and protecting our community. As we look ahead to the 20th anniversary of the Police Service in Northern Ireland, I want to have a positive and constructive conversation with the Policing Board, with politicians and most importantly with you the community about what we need to do collectively to make a career in policing a viable choice for everyone. In January we will launch our new recruitment campaign for police officers. You can find out more by visiting the Join PSNI website. The police service belongs to everyone in the community and every part of our community should feel they have an opportunity to be part of our team.